woman right here, I have to say, is a woman for whom I have unbounded admiration. A big round of applause for the most active activist I have ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, Kim Praxic. She's amazing. She's amazing. Without her, this would not be happening. All right. So in this, I am playing a billionaire. Okay. This is the story of the Rockaway Pipeline and Williams Transco, who tells you it's fine. It's great for jobs. It will give you heat. But no one is there when the rug's pulled from your feet. Let us help your cute neighborhood. We'll even sponsor your little league. We're a force for good. But let's gather round and hear the truth. It won't leave Rockaway to salute when there are no jobs and one loud kaboom. We begin with the process, the story of fracking. The poison that made communities get sick and start packing. Drillers roll into town with a promise of progress and leave families to despair and communities to regress. Our children are sick. Our home is worth nothing. Our water is brown. If you go public, we'll pound you in the ground. Here's what we'll do. We'll pay off your neighbor. If your town divides, we'll continue in our labor. What you do is not right. I'll call the EPA. They will stop you with might. Tiny person, you've already signed. And we keep the EPA pockets well lined. <laughs> You see, as much as you might try to fight, we have made yours a serious plight. We've set up DC, Bloomberg, and Albany. They say what we wish, convert your boilers. It's clean. Within the US, we pillage and scour to feed bigger markets in the 11th hour. So what they will do, you will begin to see their horrific attempts using their billions to plea. Using TV, radio, newspaper, and flair, all for your permission to poison your air. They will tell you it's progress, that opponents are crazy, but they will abscond with their billions, leaving you broken and hazy. They prey on your goodwill, your desire to care, about your family, your bills, and take for granted your air. But aren't they helping us build? We need to do something to keep our boilers filled. Good point. But to the contrary, to what they reported, the so-called gas is being exported. They will freeze the gas into liquid LNG and sell it to the highest bidder, raising the prices for you and me in the same place that a clean new wind farm would be, which form of energy would you rather see? Expensive poison gas or wind energy? When Hurricane Sandy hit, recall if you will, when New York was in the dark, Congress passed a bill that lets one company, Transco, on false pretenses to slip a gas main through Gateway Park's natural defenses. This was Grimm's special interest. When you could not object, then comes Liberty Natural Gas and its LNG to, ex to project. So first Transco and Congress hook you on gas, then Liberty appears to export it, raise prices, and pocket the cash. But now we can talk and figure this out. When, when we, we get, get together, together we, we have serious clout. If you object, tiny people, I'll say this is free trade. I'll call you socialists. That's <laughs> how the game is played. Let's throw Williams Transco right out on its ass. Yeah. Yeah. Here are the three. This, this shall not pass. pass.
human progress started with an idea. And the best part of all is that our answer is here. So let's connect with our neighbors and begin to believe that the wind, sun, and tide can meet every need. An organized public is all that is needed. The people, people united will never be defeated. The 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 people. Really, really cool. I hope you forgive me for portraying the 1%.